Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today we're standing out here in our young peach block and I'm gonna show you guys how to maintain and prune a young peach tree during the growing season. So when coming through and pruning a young peach tree, you're training it to, to have that V shape or the vase shape for the rest of its lifetime. So this is when it's very important to come through in the first and second year. These are two year old peach trees that we coming through and training them so they can have that open center, the open vase. And I've, I've done a lot of research, talked to a lot of experts and they said whenever you do this during the mid growing season, it's a, it's a lot, it's better for the tree to do it in the summertime than coming through and doing it in the winter time because then you can kind of control which branches go where and which what. So we're training up to an open vase, which we want three to four scaffolds going up and the scaffold just main branches going up. And you know, since we're doing the open center and these are not trellis, we could even leave five or six, but I, I want to leave three or four, maybe five if, if there's enough room and if the scaffolds are looking healthy and stuff. And some of the things you want to prevent this time of year is the, um, the cankers that can occur whenever you do prune a tree, a peach tree, and the cankers can eventually kill the tree off because it's, it's just, it's uh it oozes out the gooey stuff and it just gets complicated from that so we're training them to uh four to five scaffolds here and we got you know two boxes of peaches here to do so we got a lot of them to do today so it's just you gotta i'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it but this is how we do it on our farm i know there's different methods of doing it so this is exactly how we do this on our farm Alrighty, so my setup here today, we have the four wheeler and the sprayer. We got some weed killer, so after I get done training them and pruning them for the rest of the summer here and get them ready for, the, for whenever they get to full maturity. And I'm coming through and after I get them pruning them, I, I come through and kill off the grass with some weed killer here, making sure the, the tree's getting all the nutrients and all the water needs to, um, to, to survive. But I'm gonna come through, I'm gonna show you guys our hand pruners here. These are Alawi hand pruners. And as you can see here, these, these cut straight on. It's a different method. We used to have the Falco 2s, but those cut on the side and we were seeing some damage to the wood. So we changed to this one. One of these hand pruners, brand new, cost like $85 a piece, but this is our third year having them and they're still as good as new, real easy to cut. But pruning the peaches, I'm gonna come through and show you guys, you know, explain to you guys how the vase needs to be. And the first thing is first when I come through is I'd like to just cut off the, if there's any dead branches or anything in the center there and cut off these side branches that are hanging just out in the center making sure there's if we come through with the mower and then i come through and clean out anything that's growing inside the tree itself even though i'm going to probably cut some of these main branches out i'm coming through and cutting what out what's inside the tree like that one right there even this one everything that's growing in the tree i like to cut that out first and so far this tree is actually pretty good since we trained it in, in the first year we trained it pretty good so now i got to come through and decide if it's going to be enough this branch we have a southwest wind so this this branch here i'm probably gonna go ahead and chop it off here and now as you guys can see here we have that we got four main branches maybe five coming off this one this is what you want to see here probably come through and chop this one off too there we go we opened it up nice looking good so sunlight's going to penetrate through here if there's any fruit on this side it's going to uh, for uh sunlight's going to get that side come on this side do everything and then now from the bottom, if we come through with the mower, it's gonna be nice and clean so we don't have to hit anything. So this is how the peach tree is gonna look for the rest of its life. And we're, of course, we're gonna have to come through in the winter time and prune off, you know, the vigorous growth we've seen for until the, until the fall time. So this is how it's gonna look for now and probably for the rest of its lifetime, that open center vase there. Then I come through with the weed killer and we have the shield here so the drift won't get onto the actual wood and kill it. So come through like this, kill off the trees or the, yeah, right. Kill off the grass, not the trees. We need the trees. And the reason we use weed killer is we want the tree to be very selfish in a way. See, I, I missed this one right here. Come through and cut that one out. We want the tree to be the selfish. So we want the tree to get all the nutrients, all the water so it could grow nice and vigorous. And then if we come through and kill that, all the nutrients, all the water goes to the tree instead of having to sharing that with, uh, with the grass and all the other weeds that are around it. So this is gonna be, I gotta go 
continue doing this so it's not a hard job it's just coming through every tree by tree looking at them training them making sure making sure they're all nice and um, growing nicely making sure that the plants are all healthy like i said earlier we got to come through and fertilize them some more we fertilize them early on with the turkey manure they've seen to be vigorous and i've seen quite a bit of growth on these so perfect perfect head on to the next tree so no two trees are the same especially on especially on our farm because we are uh we like to keep it that way you know i'm just joking so what we want to do here we're going to see if we could find something that we want to see this branch down here is a little too low but it's probably one of the biggest branches we have here so it gets kind of tough in this situation so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna cut off this one right here and this one right there kind of clean that sucker up there we go clean some of these lower branches here so as you guys see this tree is completely different compared to the last one we just saw did we just did there so just try to do the best you can and then hopefully they do pretty good so I'm hoping next year this has some fruit so we kind of pull them down, open even more, keep that vase open there. So just kind of like that. And like, they're, like I said, no two trees are the same. So come through, kill off the grass, the weeds. And then keep it going to the next tree. These are young peach trees in the second year. So Hopefully next year, if we get a little more, more growth on them, we can leave 10 to 12, maybe 15 to 20 fruit per tree, depending on the size of the trunk. And like on this trunk here, this tree has a pretty thick trunk here, so this tree can support a good crop of fruit. So you wanna, in the first and second year, you just wanna train the trees, get them to grow vigorously and big enough. And then in the third, leave a few, in the third year and third leaf, leave a few, few, few fruit. And then by the fourth year, you can go ahead and start producing full capacity and a peach tree will live up to like 20 something years so uh, these commercial guys after 20 years they go ahead and push on the whole block and replant because they just can't leave on they just don't want the if they have any bad quality fruit due to old age they don't want that to happen so 20 years of peach tree produce and hopefully they'll fill up this canopy there's 15 feet between each tree here so hopefully they'll fill in that canopy space so this is a perfect example of a tree right here you got four main strong scaffold branches. You got one, two, three, and four. And then you got the trees are looking, this tree's looking in particular, this tree's looking really good and healthy. I just cleaned out the center there, just cut five or six small branches there. And um, yeah, this is a perfect example of a good healthy tree. And hopefully by next year, it's gonna be about this tall to be able to produce its first tree. Alrighty, so I am spraying the trees right now, printing them up. Uh, my brother Adrian, he's actually mowing the orchard right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and send the GoPro with him so you guys can see that. So I'm gonna continue spraying here and pruning the trees, and you guys are gonna go ahead and take a, a trip on the tractor because he's mowing the orchard. So he's mowing around these uh, three year old golden delicious here. As you guys can see, how well the weed killer worked around these trees too. So it's just he's mowing in between the rows here. We got our 13 foot mower. I did post a video a while back of me mowing the orchard, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here exactly how it works. So he's not really touching the trees because the trees are still too young and he doesn't chop them off. So thirteen foot mower getting the job done.
Anyway, so we just got a quick little shower and I actually just finished, uh, actually I only did uh, four rows today. And then my dad was on the way back from the boot hill with some more peaches and he blew a tire. So me and Adrian had to go help him out, go help. We put on, had to put on the spare tire because he had no tools on him. So we just had a little shower here. It just rained, so it's kind of a good thing I left. The, all the weed killer dried on the, uh, dried on the grass and the weeds, so that would be fine. So tomorrow I gotta go and uh, finish it off. But right now we gotta unload the tr this trailer. We have this reaper box here, bring my dad, we bring some more watermelon cantaloupe, and then the more peaches there. So these are the watermelons. We got some yellow melons, and then we got some um, more peach boxes of peaches here. So we gotta come through and finish unloading, and we'll see. How long this takes. So this is our forklift here, and the front clutch on it is messed up. So that's why we have problems driving it forward. But the reverse works really good. So hey, just back it up and go forward. Oh, never mind, he's got it. Got to keep it accelerated. The reason we still have it because it's a low profile. It's a small forklift, so that's why we still have it out here. I'm gonna go turn on the lights on the reefer real quick. Let him unload that first. See how good Adrian is at driving a forklift here. Not too bad for a 20 year old. What are you doing, bro? Some seedless, and then we got some. Uh, I believe those are yellow, yellow watermelon, yellow meated watermelon. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the lights here in the trailer. Drop it, drop it, drop it.
Alrighty y'all, so as you guys saw there, that's exactly how we prune our peach trees here on the farm. It is late, we got done on that truck and did some other stuff in the warehouse there. Clean some stuff up, getting ready to go to market tomorrow. I go up to Bolivar and then my brother Adrian, he goes down to Branson. So we got two markets tomorrow, so we got some stuff ready for tomorrow. Even though they're in the afternoon, we still got to prep, get some stuff ready. So it's not, it's not always, uh, I don't like to get everything done in, the, in like tomorrow because then we're, I, we got to pick tomatoes in the morning, pick uh, cucumbers, produce and stuff. So it's just, you got to prep, prepping is key whenever you go to the farmer's market. So that's a video for another time. So that's going to be pretty much it for today. If you guys haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, throughout the video, leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification bell because it comes to you guys three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And I'm here to teach you guys, you know, how... How we do stuff here on our farm, you know, we, there's a lot of different ways to do, you know, grow different growing methods and stuff. But this is exactly how we do it. That's, it works for us. So it's just, everybody does everything different. So I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day and we'll see you next time.